Alrighty, so not only do we have a source out near Claremont Steel Factory now, we had someone driving on the 401 just about 30 minutes ago that sent us pictures of supports on their way to Wonderland, and one of them looks pretty unique to me. I have a feeling it's on other B&M coasters because it's a typical support structure, but it looks very unique. Um, comment down below what you guys think when you see it at the end. But yeah, super exciting news. Um, it looks like two shipments are on their way um, because the truckloads that I saw in this update from uh, the person that lives near Claremont Steel Factory, thank you to them if you're watching. Um, it's a different truckload than the one that my friend who happened to be driving on the 401 just sent me out in London, Ontario, uh, arriving in about an hour and a half to the park. So I'll be there. <laughs> Um, looks like different shipments, so I'm assuming two shipments are arriving. So this is shipment number one, and uh, very large supports. Um, and we know that dive coasters typically have larger supports than other BNM models. They have heavy trains. They have a really um, how do I word this? <laughs> they have a, a very steep angle of ascent, so uh, there's definitely extra support needed in that aspect, along with B&M having, well, and Intamin too, and a lot of uh, manufacturers are doing this now, uh, less supports on the lift structure. So they look more beautiful to the general public and uh, yeah. But here's the pictures that my friend sent me. So this was taken in London, Ontario. They're on their way. I'll be at the park in about an hour and a half because that's when these will be here. And I'm assuming that either the uh, photos I got sent yesterday around 6 p.m., either those are already at Wonderland or they are arriving as well um but yeah very exciting um as you can tell even the main support beams are green as well they got kind of like that pine tree green to them and maybe cedar fair and canada's wonderland are going for this whole tree look um i get it the color should be reversed but actually the colors look better not reversed this way in my opinion i like the brown track and i like the green and maybe the brown track is supposed to be like a tree um, or a tree branch and the supports are meant to be like kind of like the leaves or you know The other aspect of the tree. I have no idea um, But I definitely do and I'm not even just saying this really like the color scheme on this coaster It's very unique um, and I like it a lot It's gonna fit in very well in the forest area and it's not gonna be an eyesore near the mountain very impressed by it. So um, again, back to what I was originally talking about, here's that support beam that I was talking about. And I'm assuming that this is the pre-lift support beam. If I had to take a wild guess, comment down below if um, you guys think this is for another uh, part of the ride. But I, I would have to say that weird one on top, it's not even weird, but it's probably for the pre-lift. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Again, I love it when you guys correct me. Um, but yeah, that's it for um, this update. Um, I just wanted to say, uh, some of you in the States are a little bit confused as to why I cover so much on this coaster. I just wanted to say, I get it. Um, yes, this coaster may be a little overcovered, but you have to understand Canada's Wonderland has not received a custom looping coaster since 1981. And uh, there's a lot of people interested in this project over here, and that's why it's still getting views. Um, but yes, we have lots of content coming out for other parks as well as we expand our market. Six Flags Magic Mountain construction updates are coming, um, and we'll have those soon. Anyways, hopefully you like this video. Hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and uh, stay tuned for our live stream at 8.30pm tonight. Have a good one, guys. Bye.